My name is Gene Holt and we are at my family's ranch uh, north of Wakoda, South Dakota. Uh, we run a cow-calf operation, um, custom grazing, and a guided pheasant hunting operation. My great-grandpa Vic Holzing started this place in 1929 started out with Angus cows, all cow-calf was predominantly what he did. And then my grandpa, Gene Holzing, would stay and manage it for cow-calf, had it like that, until my dad came in the 80s and, and then started selling bulls. We used to have a few registered cows and, and sell some bulls out of them. Now it's all commercial cows. We used to do everything. We used to uh, our operation was probably half the size, but we would farm about a thousand acres and then we had cattle and we had sheep. When my father-in-law finally turned it over to us, he said, you can do whatever you want. It's your decision now. And so the first thing I did was let my best friend do the farming. And I think that was a good decision because we all liked the livestock. So we, we just kind of turned it over and rented out the farm ground and pursued the, the cattle. Well then at the same time, uh, an older bachelor neighbor, his operation pretty much mirrored ours, you know, in size and everything. And, and he was gonna sell out. So my wife and I purchased 2,400 acres. So we purchased that and we have used the wildlife easement thing through the US Fish and Wildlife Service. And part of the reason is we don't want it to be broke. We want it to be grass. So we've done that on quite a few acres. And it's kind of a guarantee, I guess. You know, you, you don't know what the future holds, but I guess for my 40 years, it's always held that you can do all right with the cattle. We started custom grazing in uh, 2017 kind of as an effort to, to create a variable stocking rate on our place. Uh, not just be set stocked with, with all of our own cow-calf pairs. We wanted to, to be able to maximize on the good years and then to lean up on the bad years. Um, when we started it in 2017, we started with sheep. We took in all oh, several thousand head of sheep um, in an effort to, to just manage, manage some of our property um, with some outside animals that we could bring in when we wanted to and then also get gone when we wanted them gone. We did the sheep grazing for two years, I believe, and then just uh, gradually switched it all over to taking in cow-calf pairs from a producer. We take in all first calf heifers from, from one producer, manage them in one herd, and usually they'll come in in mid-May to late May. And, and stay through till sometimes into December. So we'll do all the day-to-day -day work with them, all the doctoring and moves and, and putting supplement out and manage them for him for the, the grazing season. It was just a, an effort to create that, that variable stocking rate, right? to be able to max out on, on the good years. It gives us a lot more flexibility you know, our, our cow-calf enterprise is still our, our predominant enterprise, but it, it allows us to manage that, that grass to the best of its ability. Flexibility is the biggest thing. This allows us to be optimistic and to say, like, that should work. You know, and we keep data and we keep track year to year, We've seen some lean years with it and seen some really good years. So you kind of you kind of take that average, you know, it just allows you to use it to the full potential, but also to when it's over, when it's time to leave, you, know, you can leave with them. We have a contract with, with this guy we work with where we have to give him two weeks notice for when the, those cattle have to be gone. You know, it could be for any reason. I mean, we've never, we've never obviously given him only two weeks notice. The way we keep records and stuff, we'll know months in advance when the, the end date is coming. That's the biggest thing on it is the, is the flexibility, but also that optimism where you can, you can be optimistic and say this should work and that's, that's what we shoot for. It's done a lot for, for stress level, just quality of life because cause there's always that, that out plan, I guess, where there isn't, if you own the animal, there isn't that defined, that well-defined out plan like the custom grazing gives you.
I guess the hunting, I feel like it's just su such a complimentary thing with the cow. Um, we can leave, like for example, we can leave a pasture go and say we're not going to graze that till next April, so it'll be cover all the way through, and that that bird benefits from it um, throughout that winter cover, that heavy growth, um, and we might benefit from it with our cow side because we get to calve in there, you know, and that that small calf can you know ride out a rainstorm throughout something like that, and. Um, and it, you know, and, and on our plot land and all that stuff, totally different, um, totally different focus in terms of we're not into maximum production for the grain. Uh, we want some trash cover in there too, you know, for that bird to hide out. And and it's it's all about return per acre, right? Like it's just a different way of getting that return. Um, you know, it's it's not the it's not the mainstream typical production model, but but that, that return is which should rival any of those, those models. You know, when uh, Kurt was first starting out, he was putting in some of the tools to be used out on the pastures um, by tools, uh, you know, water lines, some of the cross fencing. And now when, when Gene has kind of taken over on the day-to-day -day management, he's focusing a lot more on the you know, what's going on with the, the, the species as far as plant life out there. We have organic matter and we have life in that soil year round. I think it just comes down to, to rotation and, and variety and, hey, this year we did this, but, but now this is what we need. You know, we need, we need some new growth or, oh, we need some old growth over there for nesting or for cover or winter cover, but it's, you kind of need all the players, you know, so you have a little bit something of everything.